Hey my friend Jean-Serge Gagnon here and today we're going to talk about something a little controversial now I've been posting about BitClout but today we're actually going to talk about whether it's a scam or not because that's one of the questions that lots of people have on their mind is it a scam or is it worth you know investing or maybe looking at it or not especially if you're a marketer if you're, a, if you're online you're building a brand especially a personal brand do you want to spend time do you need do, should you be looking at it there's lots of things that um you know though that can go either way right and I'm going to talk to you about what I think and what I've been seeing online so we're going to get into that but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets all right so is BitCloud a scam first let's talk about what is BitCloud because you might not even know what that is so let's just share my screen and I'm going to show you what BitCloud is so BitCloud is basically a social media platform that is looks an awful lot like Twitter so if people are posting uh, on there you can um you can create a new post and you can say something like hey I'm doing episode number 355 of course income secrets right right now well you'll be okay you'll be able okay let's just do that let's just do that I'm doing episode it's called there we go is BitCloud a scam or uh, the biggest land grab for marketers so that so I'm posting right now as I'm doing this I just click on this to post it and that posts to the uh the timeline I guess you call it right so on BitCloud there's the global feed and the following feed the following feed is whoever you're following if I go to my own profile I can see uh who uh, that I've got uh, 1636 followers if I click on that I can actually look at who is who is following me and you can see who I'm not following back right so I can you know click on these to follow them right and then I can also see who is who am I following in this list right so that's kind of so like I said it's basically a profile uh it's basically a social media profile the thing about it why are people saying it's a scam is because it costs to play you can't just create an account like you do on Facebook on LinkedIn on Twitter or any other platform for free and the thing then and, and that means that you have to pay something to get on there and people are like well why would I have to pay and you know what if you're a marketer if you're an online marketer you're paying lots of money for lots of other things everything else you do is costing you time and money so if you do ads for example you're going to be paying to get people to see your content right that's what all the platforms are and plus you get ads and everything you're disrupted by ads on this platform you don't have any ads or no ads and you're basically getting your own coin it says right here that my coin is worth 313 so it's a platform where people can invest in you based on whether they like your content or not I mean it's not really based on whether they like your content or not but that's the idea is that if people like your content they will eventually invest in you because they see that they that your content is stuff they like and eventually you know mainstream uh, you know the the, the mainstream the the population I guess that isn't really a marketer that's going to start to get on here there's going to be different ways to do it but um okay so let's let's answer the question is it a scam actually let me just go to my notes here I have a note I have some notes right here that I'm going to say is okay let's just say that is BitCloud a scam or a land or biggest land grab so first is it a scam so number one so number one is it a scam so why 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 would anybody think it's a scam so let's just say actually instead of that so why would it be a scam right so why would it be a scam so the first I guess we'll say in one here the first reason is you have to pay to play right so you have to pay to play so instead of you having to watch ads on the side or in the feed or whatever 
from other people that are spending money on the platform you have to pay to get on there and that's potentially well geez why would I want to do that I can go on all the other social media platforms and it doesn't cost me anything to play right so that's one reason why it could be a skip number two is you um you have to pay in bitcoin right so you have to pay in bitcoin so uh paying in bitcoin is kind of like well I don't know people you know cryptocurrencies that's that's crazy I don't know about cryptocurrencies I I hear it's scams and the government's going to shut it all down and I don't want to be in there so you know what maybe that's your thing maybe you don't want to because you're worried about bitcoin that it's cryptocurrency um and that could be a reason for for you to see it as a scam right so that's another thing number three let's say the other reason why it could be a scam is you can't with draw now that's a big a big red flag for lots of people and we, you can't withdraw withdraw right you can't withdraw so I'm not saying that uh, not being able to withdraw is is good but we'll get to why could to my press my I guess my belief on that in a minute but it is a big thing if you can't withdraw right you can't withdraw your funds you put your funds in there basically they're gone you've you've spent them you you can't withdraw now there's ways to do that but still that's a red flag I mean I send money over to something and I don't I can't withdraw it well well when you think about it how different is that than putting money in ads or or buying you know a sign to put on your front lawn that says you 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 do uh you do lawn mowing right you put a sign on your front lawn you basically bought that sign and that money's gone you can't you can't go back to the lawn place and and ask them to pay you back if you keep that lawn sign right you basically invested and that's kind of how I see the the bit club right now but lots of people are saying if you can't withdraw it's a scam because they can take your money and and go do something with it right but you have to maybe think about are you getting value from that investment and we'll talk about that in a minute so that's another reason why it might be a scam the other reason why some are saying a scam is the creators are anonymous right the creators are anonymous whoops anonymous right so they're anonymous the creators are anonymous you can't like if you go to the platform you can't see who they are you can't really see uh you can't see their picture you don't you can see some people commenting that they're the creators but you don't know who they really are right at least some of them you don't um so those are red flags so they're all red flags the other thing is um the other big thing is they said they received huge vc funding but no one no one ever confirmed it okay so that's another red flag they're they're saying there's a coin uh coinbase I guess and uh, other big investors have invested in bitcloud project and those people that they say did invest have not come forth and said yes we did but the thing is that they ha also haven't said we didn't this they haven't said that's a lie right so what do you believe right but still that is a red flag like you don't know right you don't know whether that's true or not so I mean that's one of the things about this and um you know one thing I forgot to say is if you're listening to the audio of this you really want to go check out the, the video at cis355.jsgagnon.com to go check out the video and the blog post because I'm going to be posting this and actually you know what the other thing is you should go if you really want to learn about bitcloud we're putting on a virtual summit that'll explain you know obviously it's it's a, got a positive spin to it about learning about bitcloud but you know that doesn't cost you anything to go look at it and learn about it and it's called the bitcloud virtual summit.com right so you're going to go to bitcloud virtual summit.com so that's b-i-t-c-l-o-u-t v-i-r-t-a-l summit.com virtual summit.com I don't know if I spelled it right but anyways b-i-t-c-l-o-u-t-v-i-r-t-u-a-l-s-u-m-m-i-t.com so go there register for the free summit you'll it'll be from it's from May 17th to the to the 26 2021 so if you're seeing this after that there might be 
um we will we might re-release it later on in the future so you can still go there and register uh for the next uh release which I I can't promise right now but it'll depend on how well it goes and all that so there might be so just still go there even if it's after that date um and uh and that so okay so that's the bitcloud summit so so let's just put here learn more about bitcloud at the first ever bitcloud virtual summit at bitcloud virtual summit.com all right so that's what the, that is okay so what else can we say about it being a scam now if I let's just look it up let's look it up is bit cloud a scam right so let's just look that up see what people are saying um is it the next big thing is it is it a scam bitcoin reddit is it withdrawals enabled scam no more lots of people can scam because you couldn't withdraw um the other they're talking about that obviously there's a bunch of people talking about is it a scam because because that gets a lot of attention and me too right I'm posting this because I know it gets attention that's part of it but my my take I guess on it is whether is it is it the biggest land grab for marketers and what do I mean by that you know what a land grab is right so a land grab or let's just say number two or is it the biggest land grab for marketers right so marketers or creators or uh, influencers right for marketers let's just say oh not os or is it or is it the biggest land grab for marketers creators influencers or brands okay so what's a land grab right a land grab is when you have access to something before everybody else and you take advantage of it in and it comes from the term from you know the 1900s or 1700s even or I don't know when but maybe the 1800s when the government in the United States and other countries obviously did similar things would release land to give to people based on them going to that land and actually making a life for themselves on that land right so they would they would give away like 20 acres or 100 acres or whatever of of land and all people had to do is go to that land put a house there and start you know planting a farm and whatever they wanted to do they that they would become theirs they would given to them by the government so obviously that land grab is was was free at the time but even now there's still some spots that are that are available you can buy it for like a dollar an acre or ten dollars an acre or stupid ridiculous low prices right and the idea was you would buy it and then it would be yours and a hundred years later you might make a huge profit on it by selling parts of it or whatever right because the price goes up of land right land is something that uh, appreciates over time it's just uh, an inflationary thing right so that's land grab and in the in the you know physical world right whereas on social media land grab is referring to you becoming known more easily than if you were to go on Instagram today and go create an account on Instagram and you were brand new it would be a lot of work to get to that 10,000 followers that you need to be able to say for example share links on your stories like me I I, I have like 4,000 or so followers on there I created an account uh, maybe three years ago it was kind of too almost I guess it was a little late and what I'm creating is not necessarily the content that you know attracts the main people on there so that's why my growth isn't but that's that wasn't a land grab that was not a land grab it was already pretty popular it was already pretty busy when I went there but on BitCloud right now it's only a month old right um, a little over a month old and now is land grab time that means you create an account on there you're going to be one of the first people I mean literally there's I don't know what is it 50,000 or something like that or 100 maybe 100,000 accounts but it's nothing compared to the you know 4 billion accounts there are on Facebook right so or whatever the number is maybe 2 billion but the thing is that it's a ridiculously low you know the low number on there that if you get an account on there now and you start to create content and you become you know a person that's 
the creator if you're a creator if you're an artist you know that kind of stuff if you're an influencer already on other platforms that's kind of how you um are able to you know get the the the, the followers and everything right so look, we're just gonna and so yeah so if you go there now right today in the, in the next month or this, maybe even this year I don't know how long the land grab is gonna still be you know a thing but that's one of the things so now okay we're talking about it is it a scam or not right so why why would you want to do that if if it is a scam what if it is a scam what if you what if the account goes completely disappears and you lose the 100 or 200 or 500 bucks you put in there as an investment to play right you want to play well you got to put some money in and you got to get it as bitcoins and it's their process it's not that complicated but it's not the same as going to Facebook and creating an account right so why would you do that if you believe it's a scam well my take on it and that's kind of how I looked at it on March 31st I got on the platform and let's just talk about that right here so so number three is why would you create account if if you believe it's possibly a scam right so why would you create an account if you think it's maybe a scam why would you create an account on there why would you send a hundred or two hundred or five hundred bucks to play on the platform if you're a creator or marketer an influencer or your brand well it's a social media platform whether it's a scam or not whether your money you never see again you know from a cash perspective you're still building an audience you're building a massive audience on a platform that is new people like new stuff right so why not be on that platform and you be one of the new people on there that's creating content that people will want to see that they'll want to follow you you can bring on me that's kind of what I did right I created an account and I'm basically building fans that meet me there that haven't seen me in other platforms and I'm bringing them to my email list I'm bringing them to my blog I'm bringing them to my Facebook friend list I'm bringing them to my LinkedIn connections on Instagram followers the TikTok followers I mean all those other platforms I'm growing those by being on this platform so I'm spending a few hundred bucks <laughs> and some of my time to create to create content on there that <laughs> could be the same content I put elsewhere or different content and I'm building an audience and right now I'm doing that one of the ways I'm doing it is by doing the first ever bitcloud virtual summit right so I've got the summit and uh, let's just kind of show you if I go here if I go to my to to my page you can see that I've got the bitcloud virtual summit that's going on I've got the speakers um uh, that's kind of what I'm talking about because that's what I'm working on right now is the crazy this crazy summit right I'm doing this and I have Mario on a wall that's actually going to be uh, today he's one of the big names on there uh, he's got controversy around him too but he's still one of the big names that people are investing in I mean look uh, if we, can we see right here we can see his coin value right here right right now his coin value right now if this is not guilty Mario let's go go to his account so he's got a value of 13,000 on his personal uh, account right and then he's also got uh, oh I guess it is him that is his account Mario Nafal investments that his his other account that's four dollars that's kind of interesting we post uh, about investments oh okay that's why please do not invest so this account invests in other people but you can't buy their this coin you got to go buy the 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 the, the actual marina but uh, but that's the thing so you go like if you look at my profile right you can see I post but you can also see my creator coin who holds some of my creator coins you can see I have 17 of my own coins worth five thousand and then there's these other people that have 1.5 1.3 whatever this shows how many they own of my coin right and you can there's also this new thing called diamonds you can see who sent me diamonds like Mario sent me three diamond hand sent me seven uh, Ludo sent me two and the total diamonds down the bottom here you can see I have 142 diamonds now, I don't know what that really means but it's basically a, a statement that because it cost them something to send me diamonds that means that they like some of the content I posted um and what else uh yeah so anyways uh, then the other thing I want to talk to you about this so this is this is bitcloudvirtualsummit.com 
basically you go there you can register for the free summit um it's and this is the list of speakers we have right so these are the speakers we have in the summit you click on here you put in your name and email and it's it's free you just you'll get the link to access it um and uh yeah let's go back to my notes here where are my notes right here so I mean okay so why would you create an account if you believe it's a scam it's because you're investing in your followers and your social media strategies just the same as why would you put a hundred bucks in an ad on Facebook or in an ad on LinkedIn or on Twitter or on Instagram or on TikTok why would you spend money on advertising on those platforms well because that's that's how you play on those platforms right you pay to in to invest now you can you can post content there's all these strategies about posting content on those platforms because they have algorithms that show your post to people based on whatever rules they have right and all those algorithms obviously you know they're like crazy they're like uh well if you post or if you don't post or if your your content has a certain tag in it or there's all these different rules all the different platforms are different on bitcloud there's no rules like that it's all uh currently still just um uh, all manually managed by the creators and all that and there's no but the thing the other thing that's really cool about bitcloud is that it is going to be it is open source they've been promising it's going to be open source and now it is if i go to github actually let's do that let's show you right now so on github yeah I don't know if you know what github is but it's the developers it's a developers um the develop programmers a place for programmers to put stuff right so if I go to say for example uh bitcloud uh, where is it front end oh no show more I just want to see the front well it's just the run let's just look at this one okay so they posted now this is my I did a fork so I'm just going to go to the main one okay so if I go to bitcloud on here just the bitcloud itself this is what they they've released this right so confetti I don't know what that is but I guess oh that's probably the you know anyways hd key explorer docs doc desktop identity run front end so they've released all this stuff and if I go to uh I think there might be is there a link if I go back to here back to home uh let's actually go to diamond hands because he's got it here so there's actually documentation now that's available if I go to diamond hands post he's got a post he did a little bit ago about the the documentation so there's the documentation right here you know what is bitcloud the vision uh what they did so they have running a node they have a whole documentation on how to run your own node now what does that mean so bitcloud is a decentralized blockchain platform so what that means is that all the content that you post on here right all the content that you post let's just actually do this I go back to here I'll, I'll load that up while we talk uh, my wallet so this is the the investments I made in other other coins right uh if I go to here I can see this oh no is that no that's gonna okay whatever let's let it load up okay so it's gonna load up and we'll, I'll show you what it but basically it's a it's everything you post your likes your follows your your posts your uh diamonds your um messages uh, your profile updates all that goes into what they call a ledger and it's public in other words anybody who runs a node gets a copy of that ledger so if you run a node which means you have a computer that you run a certain program on it'll automatically connect to the network and download that blockchain data which is all the transactions that ever happened on the platform for everybody so you can go and see somebody's coins their transactions their purchases their sales you can see their posts you can see who they like who they followed um uh, who they messaged although the message content itself is encrypted which you know is obviously good important um and um and yeah so that's all available let's see is it still uh, loading it's still loading. and that's what that's what a that's what the blockchain is that that means and the way it works is that I don't know if I want to get into that but anyways we can talk about that some other time but you know people that are one of the oh right that's the other thing yes yes I got to make sure I include that in my notes so the other thing that is big a big scam alert thing that people have been talking about is that they created accounts without 
asking people right so what they did is they went to Twitter right they went to Twitter like for example George Takei he just recently um he's one of the you know the Star Trek uh he's Star Trek's um Sulu right so he he has a big account three million followers right and just recently if I go back here to the post I saw right over here so recently on May 5th which is you know 10 days ago well not 10 but eight days ago now he basically asked the bitcloud community to activate their account even though it was already there so if I look at say for example if I go back uh, actually I'm going to have to reopen another tab so bit if I go back here let's put that back up at the beginning okay so if I go back here to my account right uh, oh let's just go to the uh, oh yeah when you look at this see Elon Musk right there in the vol you see uh can you see that one yeah Ariana Grande Balaji so if I look at this account here it says the coin is worth twenty thousand dollars mine is three hundred dollars right twenty thousand is quite a difference from from my coin of a dollar it says right here that this is a reserve profile so this is somebody that's on Twitter if I go to Twitter right and I look that person up uh, search for this if I look that person up there she is right here right so this account has got 83 million followers right? Ariana Grande um so she's not posting about bitcloud I don't think anyways I I can look at but the thing is that she's got an account on Twitter and she's posting on Twitter right she posted uh, May 11th here she posted um when was this May 10th so she's posting you know every day every well May 3rd see so there's a there's a gap so she's posting only one a couple of times a, a a week a month a week I guess and she's a big name I guess on Twitter I don't know who that is it must be an actress I imagine um or maybe or a singer I guess positions the album is out yeah so but she's got an account and they created an account on on bitcloud where is it right here they created an account on bitcloud for her without asking her and that's one of the big one of the big scam uh things that people it's one of the things that people don't like about it um but you know what if you're if you've got an account on twitter and you've got millions of followers why wouldn't you want additional followers anyways that's a whole philosophical thing as a marketer my press my kind of belief on this is that social media profiles are not private information they're public information anyways that's my belief you can you maybe you don't believe that but for me that means that if you're on Twitter if you're on LinkedIn you're on Facebook you're anywhere you're basically public so that information you know although the platform like Twitter has rights to whatever content you post and they can do what they want it doesn't mean maybe some platform like Bitflux is legally allowed to take those but I mean really it's like a gray area right so what's the point of having a platform right you want to have you want to have more people see you why wouldn't you want to be on another platform but anyways that's a separate issue but that's one of the reasons so the way it works is that they go in here they do this and then they do this transfer here so if we look at uh George Tech Tech A that's what he did right if I look at him George where was he well there's a few different ones if I look at, there's Damon here uh, I don't know about him I can look him up he's got well nine followers I guess that's not a real I don't know why he's got that there but I guess that's his bitcloud key but George is saying I want to be verified this is kind of the process if I go back to this it kind of says do this right create a brand new account tweet your public key in that bitcloud and your username is transferred right so now if I go to here now I can see he's actually transferred George there he is right so his account is actually there now and he's posted like four days ago three days ago right he's he's not super active on here he but you know I can actually let's like his stuff and uh so he's posted uh let's follow him and you know if I look at the creator coin he owns 31 of his own coins he didn't do anything he's got a new account on there and because people bought his coin right some people bought his coin um it, it raised the value of it but it also means that he like in the beginning he might have just had you know 10 coins I don't know how but we could okay 
anyway so that's what I was talking about the blockchain is it's a blockchain is it still loading I think it's done loaded uh let's just let the browser re-display it it's basically going to show how the blockchain contains all the data all the transactions and hopefully this is going to work because it's right now it's slow because it's a lot of memory maybe I should just show you something else let's just close this because this is probably using up a lot of my CPU uh, let's go into here and let's look oh there you see that it was there anyways I can go back to here let's go to my blockchain from a few days ago okay let's just show you this so this is what would have shown up on that screen basically as you can see it's like a whole bunch of bits you know ones and zeros and code and whatever but what you can see right here is that you can see this is a like right so transaction type like right then down here I have transaction type submit post then I have a uh, transaction type another like then I have another like then I have another like so they're all showing up here there's gonna be posts there's gonna be likes there's gonna be coin transfers there's gonna be all these things and when you look at it you can see right here you can see you know how much it costs which is a tiny tiny like this is this is like one of the things is everything you do on the on the platform costs something because there has to be a process in the back end that's basically blockchain technology is all about having a, a network of computers that are anyways processing the transactions and adding them to the blockchain there's a whole process involved with that and that costs cpu and costs power you know cost cost uh, electricity right all that You've, you might have heard that from bitcoin the bitcoin bitcoin world right this is no different it's a blockchain so there has to be something that makes sure that the transactions that are added are valid transactions that's what you call mining right so the mining they 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 need something to pay so this is what this is right these are fees for a like for a, that's why you need to pay to play that's what I was saying you have to put some funds in the in there but this is kind of like okay uh so point zero zero twenty one just to give you an example that is uh like you could do a thousand of those for one penny right so it's really really nothing compared to um to do this right so you basically this is a very tiny amount um so what else the other thing yeah but anyways that's the transactions let's get that out of there oops let's go back to how they're making things public now they've got the identity API there was some talk all oh, right there was some talk that's another one that is maybe um uh, in beginning in beginning because that's not no longer the case in beginning uh they were sending your seed phrase to their servers okay so in the beginning they were doing that now they're not they've got this uh, in browser encryption and all that stuff because that's one of the things that was a, a and but you know that's uh was one whatever that what that means is that whenever you log into the site you gotta you gotta enter your seed phrase and when you create your account you you create it there's a anyways it's you just click a button but the thing is that that seed phrase is basically your password or your lock to get into your account and that seed phrase should never leave your browser should never leave your computer it should just stay in your computer and only the result of using that seed phrase to sign transactions should be leaving your computer right so that's the whole technical side of it but the thing is that they in the beginning they didn't do it right and they were actually sending the seed phrase on logout on login that kind of stuff where you would they you know in theory they could save that on their servers they could watch the transactions they could save those seed phrases and then use them to you know steal your funds in your in your wallet right and that's uh so that's one of the things right there there could be some risk there that was one of the other things so well, you know why would you create an account I, I'm just going to say here uh for the cost of uh Facebook ad you get to uh, have new followers for followers for pennies right so if you invest 
in the platform and play and post you're going to get new followers people are going to maybe come out of the platform go find you on Facebook on LinkedIn on Twitter whatever you want like I mean if we look at some of the other like George uh that's probably not a good example if I look at for example uh the wealthy trainer Mark Lalonde with a wealthy trainer we see that he's got a link to his blog post right so I mean he's he hasn't been active uh, on the platform much the last time was uh 33 days ago so but I he did create an account on there and he's he's got 128 followers but the thing is that if he was consistent and he was showing stuff on there he would be shown in the in the feed he would get new followers and anybody who was there that doesn't necessarily know him might well very likely will want to go check them check him out they're going to click this link to take them to the to his blog post and uh, then they become you know his fans on the other platforms possibly right that's the whole idea if I look at um Cassidy for example one of the um whoops Cassidy she's uh one of the speakers in the virtual summit she has a link here to her social links right so that takes you to her links on TikTok on Instagram on YouTube on Clubhouse and all that right so I mean uh yahoo finance I wonder what <laughs> I didn't even know she was but anyways that's you know the what what you can use with the platform right so yeah so I mean is it a scam is it not a scam I think the question you really have to ask yourself is is it something worth investing time in or not and whether it's a scam or not that isn't really the question right for me anyways and it should be for you especially if you're a marketer an influencer a creator or a brand you should be looking at it as in is it worth my time to invest in this platform what do I get out of it if I do and if you want to learn about the platform obviously you're going to want to go check out the bitcloud virtual summit just go to bitcloudvirtualsummit.com and get on the on the get registered to to attend the summit for free with all these speakers that we have here we're going to be adding some more too hopefully and yeah so we'll see you in the next episode this has been course income secrets the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom Ooh. some of your friends need to hear this message so don't forget to share for more content like this go to courseincomesecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon until next time